Hello, everybody. It's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, wanted to pop out. Five of Cups. Well, Sagittarius, it's time for your November round two reading. Why are you so sad? We'll see if it comes back out. But I feel like somebody is sad. Singing the blues. I don't know how I feel about that. All right. I'm just going to hop right into it because the kid's going to be home in about a half hour. So I have to get this done before he gets home because, you know, once the child walks into the house, the card reading's got to stop because <laughs> he's all about mama lately. I'm not sure why. Anywho. All right. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November round two. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your moon, rising, or Venus sign placements if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe versa versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher, even though this really isn't a cross-watcher's read. I'm not going to lie to you. This goes more into... Um, Sagittarius' strengths and weaknesses, how they can use those to deal with a situation, what's coming in, what you got to let go of, what you got to do, you know, all that good stuff. But cross watchers are welcome to hang out anyway. Anybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello to little old me. It gets lonely being the crazy tarot ladies. Let me tell you, it gets lonely up in here. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff. You might want to come hang out more. You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It's very much appreciated. It helps the channel grow. It helps the video to be circulated and the messages to reach those who might need them. If you are returning, thank you so much for stopping back by. You don't know how much I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart. From one sad son to another. Really. Thank you. Okay. Two things, Sag. One, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. Mine or somebody else's. And two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message. It's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. Okay. We're going to tip down. Invoke the cards. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask you to help me use it to bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good, find them on their highest possible spiritual path. Wow. You are kind of sad, aren't you? What's this? Sag! What is this? Huh? Oh, we're going we gonna to talk about this. We're going to talk about this. I got to, like, get the angle right. My son keeps, like, moving my furniture and stuff. And it's kind of a pain. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to be able to get this right. Hold up. Back this up a little bit. Okay, that's slightly better. You guys can see now. Okay. What's your strength, Sag? What's your weakness? Give me one second. The cat is like flipping out. I gotta figure out why. I don't know what's up with him. I mean, he's he's a Scorpio. That's probably what's up with him. <laughs> he wants love and attention until he doesn't want love and attention. Not throwing shade at my Scorpio friends. I'm a Scorpio Venus. Oh, okay. What do you want? What? Okay. What's got to go? What's coming in?
What are you gonna do? It's the outcome. Mm. Bottom of the deck, Four of Pentacles. Not letting go of something. Hmm. Quiet because I'm confused. There's a deeper message here, friends. There's a deeper message here. Just give me a minute. I'm not speaking yet. I gotta get clarity. And I'll admit that I'm a little bit confused. Universe, source, spirit, guides, I need clarity. All right, give me clarity on this Ace of Pentacles reversed for Sagittarius' strengths, please. something's not going to grow. I think some of you have this weird intuitive way of knowing what's in the cup. If that makes any sense to anybody. If something is, is there's something in the cup that you're being handed that you don't like. If you know it's not going to be fair, you know it's not going to be equal, you know it's not going to go anywhere. One on this Knight of Cups, please. Yeah, Ace of Cups reversed. You know when that cup's just going to spill. I, I I feel this is an inner knowing. What is your weakness? Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here for the weakness? Oh, hi, you hit the floor. You must be important. Pardon my face. Hold on. Hmm. One more. Empress reversed, Queen of Cups reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Y'all get real leery in a big hurry, don't you? This feels like red flags. Oh, this feels slightly codependent. Yeah, not all about that. Sagittarians are probably the most independent of all the signs. It's like, it's like we crave it. We do. We crave it. We don't get ourselves into codependent situations very often. Like, like it's like we smell them, isn't it? Huh. Okay. Why is temperance reversed here for what Sagittarius wants? Why temperance reversed? It's another big one that's really not making sense right now. Nine of Swords reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you want to end like negative energy. When I come out of your head about something, possibly something that didn't come together. Yeah, the moon reversed. I'm going to clear it in a situation. I 
I feel like some of you want to know why something happened. So you, you, so you can get through the negative energy aspect of it and come out of your head about it. Start sleeping again at night because something didn't come together. You want clarity. Okay. Why is the four of wands here for what's got to go? Could be a very strong connection that's got to go. Hit the floor. Six of swords, you got to move on from something. Okay. Duh. It's what's got to go. Hierophant reversed. Star reversed. It is swords reversed. You gotta come out of your cage. Y'all in a catch-22 situation. Whatever this was that didn't work out, yeah, you're still very strongly tied to it. It could possibly be a very strong soul bond, but... Hmm. You know, okay. I'm trying to explain this. I'm trying to explain this in terms that people can understand. Um, when you meet someone and you like couple up and things are going great, but that wasn't the point of it. <laughs> that wasn't the purpose of the connection. And sometimes we get stuck there when we're not supposed to be. And then you break up because it didn't work out and you have a hard time healing from it. Whatever that is for you, you got to let that go. Whatever you want clarity on, whatever you want out of your head about, you need to step out of your head about it. You need to step out of your head about that thing that you never healed from. Because it keeps coming up because you never healed from it. You need to finally walk away. You need to finally get in the boat and row away. What's this Hierophant? What's this Hierophant for what's coming in for Sagittarius? Oh, they keep like hitting the floor. Goodness. Goodness. Because I'm too far away. Too far away from the bench. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Okay. None. Okay, one more. Uh. One more. what could be another powerful connection coming in, but I don't see somebody having patience for it. I'm putting those back. They just kind of flipped up weirdly and put them back. Magician upright. Manifesting a new connection. Look, y'all, that cup's in the upright. <laughs> He's got a cup and a wand and a stick and a pentacle. It could be, you know, connection that can manifest anything you want in a life. But I don't see you taking it. Death. You know why? You gotta process this shit first. You can't take the cup. You can't take anything the magician has to offer yet. Because you haven't gone through this. You haven't gone through this. This is where your strengths and your weaknesses come in. 
you know what's in that cup. And you know if it's something in that cup you don't want. The weakness is... You don't always wait to see what's in the damn cup. One second. Why is my phone ringing? Sorry about that. Where was I? Yeah, I don't think you uh, wait around long enough to see what's in the cup. I think you let go of things pretty quick. You don't really give them a chance to grow. You don't get emotionally involved enough because it's a threat to your independence. And I think for some of you, the one time you did let somebody in, you got crushed. And you never got over it. Because you never got the clarity. You never got the clarity in the situation. And it, it, it has stayed with you. You need to release that. You need to let it go. And I feel like I'm giving the same freaking message to every sign right now. Let it go. You got a death cycle coming up and they're not easy, but they're necessary. In order to bring good things into your life, you have to release the bad. You have to let them pass away for new things to be born. It is what it is, y'all. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here for what sag has got to do? Why are the Seven of Pentacles reversed? Okay, one more. That's what they're not doing. What do they have to do? Prices reversed. Really? 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 Okay, I feel like wounded egos are keeping people stuck. When is it coming? When is it coming? When is it coming? It's coming. It's coming. Some of you need to exercise patience because your lack of patience is just preventing good things from coming in. It's keeping you stuck at the crossroads. It's keeping things from moving because of the mindset you have stuck yourself in. And I feel like for some of you, the outcome is the chariot reversed, things not moving. Because I feel like some of you are going to allow yourselves to stay stuck. Give me one on this chariot reversed for the outcome. Nine of Pentacles reversed. There it is. Five of Cups reversed, not processing the emotions. Ten of Swords reversed, not allowing the sun to shine again in your life. Staying in that I'm not good enough energy. Good God, Sag. Why? Queen of Wands reversed. Why? You know what the Queen of Wands reversed is?
someone who's perpetually upset because they didn't get their way. I'm being real with you, Sag. I'm being real. You can't move forward until you get unstuck. I see something beautiful coming. I do. But I also see you not taking it. Because there's a path you haven't walked yet. There's a cycle you haven't completed. My goodness. We, we need a wisdom oracle on this. I need a wisdom oracle on this for Sag. Goodness. I'm going to say it again. I'm a Sag son and I feel you and I get you. We are. The, we get in our own way sometimes. We do. I get in my own way. I'll be the first one to admit it. I get in my own way all the time. It's something I'm trying to transmit about myself. Can I get a Wisdom Oracle for Sagittarius for November round two, please? Oh, wow. Between Worlds and the Fates. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Number three, Between Worlds. Oh my gosh, come on. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. Sag, I think the universe picked the right card for you. Just bear with me for a minute, okay? What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child, glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so, and you will not be disappointed. Satch. The Fates, number 17. Number 17. Oh my goodness. The Serenity Prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature, and by your past experiences may be fated, preordained by spirit for the greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the Serenity Prayer. Friends. 
Okay. Satch, this has been your November round two. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. And I'll catch you guys in your next reading.